Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download all these files from below link in the description. Let's start with creating our trailer title. Create a new composition. Name it as trailer title. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Now first. Here we will add our text. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Font style to regular. I will set font size to 100. Let's align the text to the center. Now for this text layer. From a layer style. Select Gradient Overlay. In Gradient Overlay, we will adjust the gradient color. Here you need to create stopper, and set the color exactly as shown. You can see the gradient color on the text layer. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this text layer. For duplicate text layer, we need to edit the gradient color. Here you need to adjust the color and stopper exactly as shown. To delete any stopper, you just need to select it, and hit delete. Now adjust it as shown. Perfect. Now for below text layer, press S to bring up scale, unlink scale. Now set X position scale value to 99%. Perfect. You can see the simple 3D style gradient effect for the text layer. Now select both the text layers, pre-compose them. Here I will name it as text. We will change this text composition to 3D. For text composition, press P to bring up position. Now at start of the timeline, reduce position value for Z axis as shown. Reduce it till the text is completely zoomed. Now create a keyframe for position. At 10 frames, change position value to minus 100. You can see the preview. Now at end of the timer line, change position value to 300. You can see the preview. Now select the second keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. 
Perfect. Select on the blur. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our text layer is ready. Now from the project panel, let's add the background media file to the timeline. Place it below the text layer. Now for this background layer, let's scale it to 50%. Perfect, now let's create a new solid layer. I will name this layer as Gradient. For this layer, in Effects and Preset, search for Gradient Ramp. Add it to Solid Layer. Change Ramp Shape to Radial Ramp. Here we will first change the position of start and end of the ramp. Now let's change the color, here you can set any color of your choice for the background layer. For this gradient layer, we will change the mode to add. Set the end color to black. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of the gradient layer. For this duplicate gradient layer, we will change start color of the ramp. Now we need to adjust the ramp start and end position. You can see the effect. Perfect. Now from project panel. Let's add the flare 1 media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Now add particles media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Now let's add the Flare 2 media file to the timeline. Change mode to add. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Here I will name it as Color. From Effects and Preset, search for Fill. Add it to the solid color layer. Set Fill color to white. For this color layer, press T to bring up the opacity. Now at start, create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to 70%. Now at 1 second, change opacity to 0%. Select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. For the color solid layer, Change mode to classic color dodge. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 5%. Now in effects and preset, Search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. You can see its effect. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. We will name it as frame. Set color to black. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask for the frame. For mask 1, we will change the path shape. Change unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%. Set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the preview from start. Perfect, here our cinematic title is created. Similarly, you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. <laughs>